A recruiter reached out to me, actually. Do what everybody else is doing. Students sometimes pad their resume a bit too much with things that they think they should be doing and not with the things that... I know that you got promoted here at Google. What do you think really helped you succeed at a top tech company? I would say it's... Today, I'm at the Google office in Seattle, and I'm going to be interviewing software engineers, software engineering interns, and having them expose the secrets of how they actually got into such a difficult company such as Google, especially in this market in which not a lot of people are getting jobs. Without further ado, let's get started right away. What's your name and what do you do? My name is Abhishek and I'm a mid-level software engineer. My name is Manuel. I'm a software engineering intern here at Google and I work on GCP billing. My name is Shreya and I'm a site reliability engineer and software engineer at Google. Hi, my name is Ben. My title is strategic cloud engineer here at Google. Hey, so my name is Atticus and I'm a step intern here at Google. My name is Tafik. I'm a software engineer at Google. What college did you go to and what was your major? I went to the University of Washington just up the street here and I majored in aerospace engineering. I was a computer science major at Cornell. So I go to Johns Hopkins University and I studied computer science and computational medicine. Did you do any projects as part of your university to help you get in here? You know, I don't think it was projects. I think it was actually previous internships where oh, I was able okay. to do projects as a part of them. Yeah. And what was your previous internship? So I did an internship at a company called Trimble as well as a different company uh, that was much smaller and just did engineering there. My first year, I built a automatic garage door opener with a Raspberry Pi, which is like a small computer. You know, it's a, it was a pretty unique project because it involved like all three aspects of software, hardware, mm -hmm. and embedded systems. Because I was working at Microsoft, I had experience working on really large scale distributed systems and big data pipelines, pipelines that were handling millions of dollars worth of financial transactions. One of my favorite projects was a game design project, which involved a lot of like software design. We built a game similar to Fireboy and Water Girl, so I think that was pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. What was the interview process like for you? First, I applied for the job, then there is one phone interview, and then once we passed that, there will be be a on-site interview? I think I had a pretty quick interview process. I had one phone screen from a recruiter and an on-site interview, which involved four technical rounds and one behavioral round. My title isn't like software engineer, so I had a systems design interview, I had one coding interview, and because my role is ma mainly customer facing, I had a customer facing, like how would you handle XYZ scenario with customer interview? All the interviews were technical since I was applying for a mid-level position. So they were pretty much all your standard algorithms and data structures and interview questions. Nice. So I applied with a referral that helped to get my foot in the door. After that, the interview process was pretty straightforward. There were two rounds of interviews two behaviors and two technicals. You know, if you do well, you get an offer. It was actually two 45-minute interviews as well as a recruiter screening. And those two 45-minute interviews were just very basic, uh, you know, lead code style questions. Mm -hmm. What were some, I guess, like target skill sets during these interviews? As a software engineer, coding is definitely the number one. But you also need to showcase your communication skill and the problem-solving skill. You know, I actually uh, read a book called Groking the Coding Interview. And that okay. actually helped me a lot, focused on a lot of, you know, how, how am I going to explain my problems as I go through the interview? And I think that was what got me this position. A lot of my interviews revolved around API design and software design. In terms of preparation, I would highly le recommend lead code and some data structures and algorithms For sure. practice. Yeah. For my role, it's a bit more of a generalist. So I think a lot of experience across a wide range of different uh, technologies, stacks, right? So you should know some Kubernetes, you should know networking, you should be able to pass a programming interview. If someone throws a pile of hardware at you and says, okay, get, get up, uh, you know, web server running with that hardware and not on cloud, you should be able to do something to that effect. How did you actually get into Google? Yeah, so a recruiter reached out to me. I think it's because I've, I've applied to like other internships and like summits. They reached out and they told me to apply and they helped me throughout the process and, you know, gave me some some tips and things to think about. Got through all like the assessments and all the interviews. And so ultimately, you know, I got an offer and I said yes. I applied for a job in my last year of college and uh, did the interview and it works. So I studied math and computer science at an Ivy League school uh, before this. I also worked at Microsoft prior to this. So I had pretty good experience coming in. And I think that's why a recruiter reached out to me, actually, to offer for me to interview at Google. Two years ago, I was a step intern, which is uh, an early career program at Google. And then I converted to a SWE intern. And then, uh, yeah, I converted full time. At a high level, what do you do here at Google? I'm working in cloud and uh, in the infrastructure team, so building infrastructure, internal tools for engineering teams. I currently work in cloud, so we work on storage. I work on a team that is responsible for making Google storage more efficient. We kind of like 
use a lot of different techniques to make sure that it takes up as little space as possible in Google's data centers and costs Google as little as possible to actually store that data. Okay. So I'm in the compute engine disaster recovery team. We basically build infrastructure to recover databases when something really bad happens to our data centers. I work in cloud and specifically I work on uh, supporting GPUs in cloud. So the low level virtualization and the high level uh, product stuff. So my work with GCP customers that sign big commits with GCP. So there'll be banks, there'll be financial service customers, there'll be uh, healthcare customers that say, we want to move our data center out from you know our data center and all our data onto GCP. How do we do security on GCP? And we'll help them do you know network setup, kind of all the end to end bits yeah. of securing data on GCP. Currently, I work on AI infrastructure for the Google Kubernetes engine. Basically, my team is in charge of optimizing AI workflows that run on the Kubernetes engine. So basically just training AI models as fast as possible. And what's your favorite perk here at Google? Definitely the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. What is your favorite part about Google other than the food? I'd say it's the office space. I feel like it really promotes productivity. Also, the massages are really great. We have in-office massages. Free massages? Yes, free. Wow, okay, okay. Yep. Other than the food, I like the, the offices are very fun. It definitely feels like a nice place to come to. It's not just a boring corporate office. My favorite perk is just the gym. Having oh, the gym okay. on site, nice, yeah. Nice. All sorts of equipment. They have a sauna, actually, and a steam uh, room inside the locker rooms. I think <laughs> I, I was going to say food, but not because it's free in the sense that you get a lot of opportunities to talk with people and make friends that you otherwise wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. um, going to free cafe and you just screw around and you meet some people and you make friends. A lot of my friends I hang out now are work friends, actually. So I'm really thankful actually, for the fact that we get to hang out at work over food. Google offers free Lime scooters to and from the office uh, and an unlimited amount of times. So it's really convenient for getting to the office and getting back home. Getting into Google is percentage wise harder than getting into Harvard. Oh, wow. So what advice do you have for current computer science or software engineering students who seek top tech opportunities? First, you have to work hard, of course. Make sure you know your stuff. Try to be as good of a communicator as you can be, actually. I think that's one of the things that can differentiate you in many different areas. Communicating your impact when you're writing a resume, talking to recruiters, or when you're just you know going about your work in general. Build the foundation of the knowledge. Keep an eye on the state of the art techniques and also practice your communication skill and those soft skills they will be useful sooner or later if you're a student right now i would say explore different technical skills and different areas within computer science because you never know what kind of job you're going to end up with i would i would say branch out as much as you can learn about networking operating systems software design you have to learn more than just what you're being taught. You can't expect to know everything just by taking some classes on it. You have to get involved and learn stuff for yourself, be curious, and you're gonna discover a lot that way. I think the market is a little bit weird right now, so keep working hard, keep studying, doing your leak code, and keep your hopes up. The market isn't always gonna be like this. Do a lot of stuff outside of school. You know, like I said, that book, reading books, you know, looking at people online like you, learning from them. You know, people that have already done it before. Uh -huh. Get your hands dirty with like a lot of projects, learn as many frameworks as you can, learn as many different technologies as you can. You know, you want to have a, a pretty full resume. It's also good to network and to apply with a referral. You know, grind out a lot of like the Lily code and take your classes seriously, but also like make time for yourself. And you know, your well-being is like the most important thing at the end of the day. Keeping your health, yourself healthy is key in order to like do well in all these interviews and and perform well during your internships. Yeah, sometimes people face burnout too early. Yeah, and I think that's just like really, really important to think about. Yeah. And what's the biggest mistake a lot of students are making right now trying to get a job? I think focusing too much on a single specialization mm -hmm. instead of trying to get more of like a generalist interview practice. Gotcha. Just trying to do what everybody else is doing. You have to do something to differentiate yourself. That means doing something a lot of people aren't doing, then that's what you have to do. Students sometimes pad their resume a bit too much with things that they think they should be doing and not with the things that are interesting to them, right? I think in an interview, if I can talk to you about something that you have a lot of passion for and you've tried very hard in this area, that is a lot more attractive to me as an interviewer than I've done a bunch of things for the sake of doing things, yeah. I think the biggest mistake is not trying to network. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people just think they can go straight in with their skills and not, you know, 
talk with people and actually meet people and help them get jobs. To get into Google is really hard. What do you think set you apart? Again, I would say it's like my breadth of experience. I tried to learn as much as I could um, during my time at college. And I also worked at a different company before Google. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I had a large variety of experiences. You know, I did a lot of work, a lot of uh, networking for um, gaming tournaments, LANs. I've set up a lot of, um, you know, video over IP, audio over IP, a lot of weird things like that. And I think that makes me a little bit more interesting to talk about for infrastructure and things like that. And as a bonus, what was your compensation here at Google? My first summer as a step intern, I was making uh, $40 an hour. And then last summer as a SWE intern, I was making $60 an hour. Nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're curious about what exactly software engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis, you might like this video right here.